I'm all for the King James Bible, but I do think I have an opinion about this. The way the Bible is written, the words should not be changed. I don't care how someone understands it in their own understanding. They ought to leave it word for word. But when it comes to its wording, when it says things like, doth a fountain, do, doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew you out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. If ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. Mm, nothing but facts. But I'll say this. It's the way that's worded. It should. I wish it was worded in a more modern way because we don't speak with the doth and ye and you know the th at the end and those you know what i mean and a lot of time it can be confusing to many people because we don't speak in that grammatical way anymore and i wish it could be written in a more modern way without somebody trying to change the words but we can't trust man. But I don't care how many times people say the Bible has been edited. If you think the word of God can be bound by someone's editing, and if you think the truth can be stopped, and it can anybody's editing can stop the truth from blasting off that page straight into your heart and mind, then you've lost it and you don't know God very well. The word of God cannot be bound. If you truly seek the truth, you will find it. And I mean seek it relentlessly. You gotta be so fed up with everything. You gotta be done playing games. You gotta be fed up and just want the truth without some hidden motive. God is no fool and he will not be mocked and he is not stupid. He makes no mistakes. He is perfect, but not in a prideful way like people would love to think. God is just self-righteous. Excuse you. But you need an actual encounter with him. You need to actually meet him before you run your mouth with a tongue full of hellfire and poison. Just standing in the presence of God explains everything that you need to know about him. Everything. We praise him because he's worthy of praise. He gave us life and we are ungrateful. He gives us all these things, but yet we still blame everything that goes wrong on him. When the full truth of why things are going wrong has been laid out perfectly and crystal clear for us to understand. Sin gave way to death, sickness, illness, mental illness, physical illness, all that. And sin came because of the manipulation of Satan. The manipulator, the liar who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm getting off track here. I wish it was written in a way that's more modern, but doesn't change the words. Maranatha.